Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I'm going to talk about Motic. It's going to be um, a brief introduction to Motic. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not an expert. I just uh, started to use it a little bit more seriously uh, today. Uh, so it's, it's really a, a brief overview of what it's capable of. But just to let you know, I'm no expert. I'm just going to try exactly like you to learn about Motic. So, Motic, first things to know, it's a free and open source uh, marketing automation uh, software. So just regarding the free and open source part, if you click over here, you will see that the license is exactly the same as, uh, for example, Matomo Analytics. So it's under GPL uh, this license, which means that uh, you are free to do a lot of things uh, with, with it. Okay. Um, so it's a marketing automation software. What does it mean? Well, as its name stands for, it allows you to do marketing. So uh, let's say to to advertise, to target uh, people and to do it uh, automatically according to rules uh, that you are going uh, to define. So as most of free and open source uh, projects, you have a business model behind Motic. Uh, so they are offering you uh, cloud services and you can also install Motic on your own server. This video is not about the installation of it. I will have another video for that. And uh, I'm just going to show you now briefly how does it work. So it's uh, very straightforward if you are using the, the cloud because it's all about the tracking code that you are going to copy and paste on every pages of your website because the whole thing about Motic is about uh, conversion. So you have a website and on your website, you are receiving uh, a lot of visits or even just visits and those visits are not converting or at least uh, you get just 1% of conversion rate and your wish is actually to leverage the 99% which are remaining, which are just passive uh, visitors. So the idea of Motic is to identify how uh, those 99% which are not converting could convert or at least could have more chances to convert. And that's the whole uh, thing. So in fact, um, when you create uh, your, your first account, you will get um, a tracking code. So it can trade to you. You go over here in admin, then configuration. And once you are in a configuration, you can just click on a tracking settings over here. And here you get a tracking code that you copy and paste. Uh, on all the pages of your website and you put it uh, just before the closing body tag. So if I have a WordPress website, such as the one that I'm currently showing you, uh, you can just go on appearance here, you go in the team editor. Um, by the way, you have some plugins for WordPress, just that uh, I didn't uh, took the time to install one. I just copy and paste the script over here. You see, so nothing magical, it's just a basic copy and paste that I inserted within the template of this website. So. What's going to happen now is that if I visit the website exactly like for an analytics platform, it's going to measure the fact that the page has been uh, visited. So if I just go over here, I visit the page with this one. What's going to ha happen is that uh, Motic will automatically create um, what they call a contact. So, so to say a lead uh, within uh, your, uh, your Motic platform saying that, okay, there's there's a lead okay the ip address of this lead is this one and uh he or she visited those given page and what motic expect is that you insert additional tracking code additional features in order to get more information about this given visitor until getting um, a way of contacting uh, him or her in order of course uh, to convert uh, him or her later on so uh, let's now look through the contacts about what happened. So here, as you can see, I got nothing. I can even refresh my page. You will see that nothing's going to happen up here, here. And the reason is that uh, Motic considered that the visitor is the contact is not valuable yet because it did not give you information which are interesting enough in order to contact her and more back. So you need to go over here and to uh, filter and make is anonymous. And then you will see uh, the that's kind of weird. I get the IP address. Let's actually, I asked for uh, not tracking the IP address. I'm just going to go over here on tracking settings. You see that anonymous the visitor will be both displayed and saved as, okay, kind of funny. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back here and contact. Uh, so I get this given contact. But as you can see, um, 
Motic is not able to uh, set it as a real contact, so I need to insert his anonymous, but I can already have a look at what I have about this given contact. And as you can see, I already get a lot of information because I know that this contact has been created once uh, he or she went on the website, grabbed the address IP, um, it has been uh, created by uh, myself, okay? And I know that uh, he or she visited at least the page of my website, okay, page it. Um, that's interesting, but as I previously mentioned, that's not enough in order to make my, um, my contact with this given lead. So what Motic has is what they call here components, which are additional features that you can embed on your website or even elsewhere in order to collect data about this given uh, contact in order to give it uh, more value. And uh, if you go, for example, here in forms, uh, you can in fact uh, click here on new and then you can decide to create a new form. So that's what I did in my case. I created one and show it to you. Uh, that's, that's the one that I created. Leave us uh, your phone number. Um, and uh, what I did is I create a simple form in which I'm asking for the name, I'm asking for the phone number, and at the end of the day, you get um, um, the following script that uh, you need to copy and paste on uh, the page that you want. So in my case, I took this given um, code that I was showing you and I embed it within one of my pages. So we got it over here. Okay, I created the page which is named contact detail. Of course, this page is not that beautiful. I not spend that much time, just copy and paste the tracking code that Motic was giving to me. And uh, as a result, if I visit this page, so I can visit the page, view the page, view the page. Um, so, and let's imagine now that I'm giving my information, right? So, um, by the way, that's not great. I should have embed um, let's say the email address, if not, I cannot really contact this person. Uh, so let's go back in Motic. So I'm back in Motic. I'm going to edit this uh, given form, edit it. And I'm going to ask for an extra field, which is going to be uh, the new field. It's going to be the email. Okay, email, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to ask just for email. Okay. And here it is. So now I get the email, uh, email and phone number. Oof. Oops. Okay, like this. I'm gonna just save and close it. And I'm gonna get a good copy. I'm gonna copy and paste these parts out. So um, let's now go back on my on my website. So here it was. I just edit my page. Just gonna click here on text to change it out and I'm updating it. Okay, lovely. Okay, let's go back on the page. So now it's asking for the name, for the email, and for the phone number. So I'm gonna say, hey, it's Daffy Duck, Daffy Duck, and the contacts, uh, contacts at crossmarketing.com, and here I get the phone number, so Daff. And then uh, submit. Okay, so uh, the form has been sent. Okay, and that's the magic with uh, Motic is that Motic grabbed all those data out. And as a result, uh, what happened is that if I remove this filter, you will see that uh, it took the IP address, uh, changed it, and created a full a full contact. Pay. Whoa, that's scary. It even grabs my avatar okay great um and that's um that's what i wanted to show you and as you can see so it uh, send all the data to um to motic so here i get uh, the the page so it's really like a like a crm you can really access to all the data about this uh, given individual so of course if you get the phone number you can uh, call him back and asking uh, extra information in order to complete this given uh, contact page and then uh, what you can do is that you can send now an email to this person because you grab uh, the information hey you how are you doing ready to convert ready to convert uh, you can, of course, import uh, existing template that you already uh, write about, and then you can send the full thing. And in fact, with 
Uh, Motic, what you can do is that you can create segments. So in fact, it's not just about this given individual that I have here, but about many other individuals that you can uh, select all about automatically and then send an email in order to, uh, to convert them. And that's, um, that's one thing. Then, um, as I previously mentioned, um, Motic is working like a CRM. So you can easily say, okay, I got in contact with, uh, with this person. Um, so I'm gonna uh, put it like this. So I'm gonna add a note in order to say, okay, I got in contact with him some days ago. Let's, uh, let's call him back in two days. And then you can set it on, on call, for example, and then you can say, okay, in two days, I want uh, to contact uh, him or her. So it's really like a, like a full CRM that you can share with other colleagues. And uh, you can like this, in fact, uh, keep processes track of this given contact in order to see uh, how it's moving within the funnel. And as you can see, you have a full system in terms of engagement points so the more he or she is interacting with with your website uh, then the more he or she is qualified and of course the more chances it has to convert at the end of the day and as you can see uh, the email has been uh, properly sent so that's um, that's the the big things i wanted to show you about uh, motic so it's um it's a software in order to uh, let's say manage all your leads or your customers which are acting on your website or elsewhere as you can use it as a CRM and then uh, Motic is giving you lots of additional tools so I just show you one tiny tool out of them which is the one of forms in order to collect those data enriching uh, your data and then give the possibility to uh, contact them back uh, you will see in the other video that I will uh, try to tackle everything which deal with landing page and any other valuable feature that uh, Motic has. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.